Hey guys, welcome back to another video with me, Ghost Admiral, and today the new Sea of Thieves update released, and with it came the Legend of Glitterbeard. This is what this main focus of the video is going to be, and according to a recent Sea of Thieves news post, the Legend of Glitterbeard is marking the year's anniversary of a passing of a rare employee. I think before we start this video, I should reread what I have to say about him. 2020 was a difficult and challenging year for many. In March, the Rare team were faced with a challenge of our own, as tragically, one of our team passed away. We like to tell you a little bit about him. James White was an exceptionally bright and friendly apprentice data analyst at Rare. In fact, he was the first apprentice to ever join the studio. He was known as a gentle giant with a warm hearty laugh, down-to-earth demeanour and an epic beard that would make even the greatest pirate glow with pride. James, or Jim as we called him, was just starting his career in the games industry, but had already played an instrumental part in developing the game that you love. Whether he was digging into data to help our design team balance new features, or ensuring our support team were compensating any pirates who may have missed out on loot, his focus was always on the players. When we lost Jim in March, as a studio and as a family, we were heartbroken. But we were also resolute that we would see Jim remembered, not just in our hearts, but in the game he worked so hard to make special, a haven for everyone who discovered it. As a team, we came together and looked at all the ways we could possibly look to represent and memorialise him in Sea of Thieves. As we approach the anniversary of his passing, we'll be introducing the result of his work, the legend of Glitterbeard, to the game. We hope that it captures Jim's spirit, that's a man whose stature was only ever dwarfed by his kindness and compassion. Now it's up to you to go out and find the legend of Glitterbeard for yourselves. We've shaped this one-off storyline in memory of someone we miss, placing him in the world forever as the larger-than-life Glitterbeard, a selfless guide to the players who followed in his wake. Should you discover the scattered chronicles of his adventures, they and the huge heart behind them are something you'll enjoy sharing with friends, family, crewmates, and other voyagers you meet on the seas. Best of luck to you, pirates. So, here is a complete guide to the legend of Glitterbeard and how to complete it. The first journal is in any tavern you see. Read it and you'll gain one of the commendations from the newly updated Legends of the Sea area. You'll also gain a fancy new sail that does look really nice and so the adventure begins. It's worth noting these aren't A to B, these are intended for you to just find as you scatter across the, your journey across the Sea of Thieves. The sails look pretty nice, I really like them, they're quite basic but at the same time, really nice, they go in the dark a little bit, but I have a slight feeling they may become the new noob sails. As you can see here, really nice and they've got the Glitterbeard emblem on it, truly capturing someone who, to be remembered. You can see the glitter in his beard, hence the name Glitterbeard, and this really is a nice sail. Okay, so the, now to the journal location themselves. The first one is on Discovery Ridge, by the camp by the shipwreck on the Little Island. The next is on Daggertooth Outpost by the campfire on the beach. Then we have Galleon's Grave Outpost on the southwest beach in the rubble. Golden Sands near the rowboats at the beach and at the weaponsmith shop. Crescent Isle on a barrel near the bridge in the cave. The tavern behind the door, which you already know about. Booty Isle on a barrel of sort in the middle of the island. Stephen Spoil's sea post on a barrel close to Merrick. Crook's Hollow on the top of the island by the two cannons on a barrel. Thieves' Haven on the ground in the wrecked ship hut on the beach on the north side of the island. Sharkbait Cove near Merrick's painting on the southwest beach. Plunder Outpost on the beach near the broken rowboat. Reaper's Hideout when you come out of the main tent, walk straight over the bridge and the journal will be on the rock facing you. Paradise Spring, a tavern of legends near the spring. Castaway Isle on the south beach. Sanctuary Outpost, southwest of the tavern, and that concludes all the journals. So go out and find them if you wish to do work this out yourself, do it yourself. If not, keep watching and you'll see what it's all about. So Glitterbeard's home is located on Plunder Valley. You can see here the tree and engraved in carvings JW, his initials Jim White, and a vault-like looking door. This is the door that will open. From the tree you'll notice lots of different lanterns and bottles hanging down, and this is where you have to go. Again, stop watching now if you want to work this out for yourself, because there's a puzzle that you need to do.
Okay, so the way you get into Glitterbeard's home is simple. You need eight people. On this spot, there are eight dirt patches around the tree, and you have to play a musical instrument on each of them, each person. On this spot here, it's a concertina. On the north spot, it's a hurdy-gurdy, because these spots all correlate to a cardinal direction. On the northeast spot, it's a drum. On the east spot, it's a banjo. On the southeast spot, it's a concertina. On the south spot, it's a hurdy-gurdy. And this is important because the hurdy-gurdy has to start, it's the lead. And then, on the southwest spot, it's a drum. And lastly, on the west spot, it's a banjo. Now you may notice these instruments are all facing each other and that's important, that's exactly what the puzzle idea is. Now apart from just playing these instruments, they need to be played at golden hour. Golden hour is 10 p.m. until 11 p.m. These are the only hours you can do it in and afterwards it won't work, so make sure you get ready. Otherwise, genuinely, it won't work, so golden hour. It's right after sunset and it reminds you of Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, again, I'm gonna pause the video here because this is important this time. Upcoming is Glitterbeard's home's animation, opening, whatever, and what's inside. If you want to do this for yourself and get eight people together, by all means go, but do not watch the video. This is a really special experience and I would really recommend just doing it in-game rather than watching it. However, obviously I can imagine that getting eight people is bad and after the first week it's gonna get really tedious, especially for you solo sloopers. But by all means, I'm assuming Rare want us to share this because you know it's a really nice experience and I want everyone to experience it as I did because honestly getting eight people, some people just don't have that many friends and it won't happen just on a solo sloop finding other galleons. So for the last time, if you do want to see this, stop watching now because there are no more warnings. This is your final warning.
Inside Glitterbeard's home, it shows his life's work. You've got his musical instrument and him just starting out as a hearty man and with a portrait there as well. The journal's there, you need to read that if you want the Glitterbeard reward. And then up here you've got showing his love of art that you can read all about in the journals. This is covers everything in there. And then over here you've got his work on Sea of Thieves. As you can see here, it's pretty easy to infer. You've got the chandelier and you've got the boats. This was really nice of Rare. This is why Sea of Thieves and Rare are a good company and a good game. They value their staff. So you just read through the entire journal or then you'll get the beard. I'll let you read it for yourself because it's really touching. And so this is what the actual glitter beard looks like. Now there is a glitter beard cannon flare which you can get. I don't know which journal it is, but you can get it from reading one of the journals, which is very cool. I like how they've done a cannon flare. And yes, there is another journal on Ponder Valley, just behind a waterfall, you can get this. And this is just a handy one, is it? Well, it helps you to unlock all the commendations, which you will need if you want to be a sweat like me, who loves to unlock everything for some random reason. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for this video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to leave a like and share it with your friends and subscribe as well. That'd be greatly appreciated. I'm close to a thousand subscribers and I do soundtracks, gameplay guides and all that good stuff. And also, if you do subscribe, please hit the bell as well. Glitterbeard, the legend of Glitterbeard is something really nice the devs have put in. And I look forward to seeing what they have in the future in store for us. I was on the edge about making this guide or not, but I realised that people will do it anyway, and it's going to be really hard for solo sloopers if no one's there to guide them. So anyway, I hope this really helped you, it was certainly a lot of fun making it, and more guides and things will be coming out for the new update, but for now I just wanted to get a guide to this amazing tribute and memorial in-game. I'll leave you with Becalmed and a tour of his house. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you later. And Arise on distant shores with wind in her sails again. They'll be cheering and calling. No more squabbling.
Oh, oh, oh.